We're not happy with our caravan motor home TV, so we are looking at upgrading to a monitor. Morning guys, uh, we're just entering the fourth week of lockdown. Uh, and although we've, I've done quite a lot on the camper, uh, I am I am now struggling to get materials here uh, from BNQ and uh, every place. So, uh, so one of the the, the things what we've been mulling over for a while is our Avtex TV. Uh, we've had this for the past three four year, and to be quite honest with you, it, it works perfectly well. Uh, we've got the the Snipe Two satellite system. Uh, We've got the Roku for so we've got internet TV and we've got this little plastic aerial uh, for when we've got neither of those two. Uh, this TV works well. It's got the built-in uh, decoders for the satellite and the free view. It is 12 volt. It is 240 volt. So it, it works really well. The downside. Uh, to this TV is the picture quality. I think it's running at something like 760 or something like that. And even on normal TV, it tends to struggle. It tends to pixelate and so on. Uh, admitted there could be other problems further back, but I'm not happy with the TV. So we're going to go down the, the route of uh, replacing this with a 32-inch LG monitor. It creates problems in itself. The monitor is 4K, so it, it, the picture quality should be much better when we connect the pc up, up, up to the monitor as well that should work fine uh having the monitor uh it creates problem with the sound uh and also the the satellite and the free view box so we, we, we've got to install what i'm going to do is install the shelf up here a new powerpoint up in this top corner uh for 240 it's going to have a couple of usb ports on there as well uh, so the decoder for the satellite and the free view box are going to be separate to the TV now. So, so they're going to be up there, and then obviously power and going to the into the monitor. The monitor I'm I'm, I'm getting as a aux out out put on it. So if we want to use a sound bar or anything, we can use a sound bar, uh, you know, from from the monitor. Uh, so. Uh, We've got this cheap little plastic aerial at the moment. What, why we've got this? Uh, up on the up on the roof, as you know, we've got the satellite system. Uh, we haven't got a full time TV aerial at the moment, and the reason for that is basically until I know what's going up on the roof and where things are going, uh, I don't want to install a TV aerial at the moment. So we, we're just hanging off that, and and, and this works well. There's nothing wrong with it. I think we're about thirty pound off Amazon. You know, sometimes we put it in this window or we put it in the in the kitchen window there, and it works fine. But that's why we're just persevering with, with this at, at the moment. Back from screw fix. I've got the socket. I've got the back box. I'm just gonna have a cup of tea, and then we're gonna get started. Right, I've marked out the where the box is going. I've got my multi tool, so just bear with me on this one. Right, here we have it. Those of you who've not seen what the camp is actually made up of, uh, it's a GRP board, which is, uh, these are the internal walls, so these are a little bit thinner. These are, I think, 30 mil thick. So you've got two, two uh, fiberglass uh, sides with this insulation on the, on the inside. The exterior walls, the floor and the roof is 50 mil thick, the floor being an additional 50 mil on top of that as well with a like a, a kingspan uh insulation on the on the bottom but that's the that's the internal walls so that's it the back box is in place so now i can look at getting the cables up there and getting the face plate on i've got the uh the socket wired in now or, or got it the first part wired in uh, so i'm going to feed that in now fix it up and then i'll connect it on the back side when it's all uh, when it's all fixed in place, hopefully it should be uh, it should be level. There you go. So this is the uh, lump of ash I've got for the uh, for the shelf, which I like to see raw timber. But I mean, uh, I'm just thinking we'll we'll have that up there. We'll put we'll put some uh, 
yellow brackets on, uh, some some supports. We'll clean up the front edge. Uh, my girlfriend's not right happy about this this mouldy effect here, so I'm gonna have to clean up the uh, I'll clean up the bottom, clean up the top, clean up the the weeny edge, and we'll uh, we'll hopefully get that fitted. So this is the timber shell. So I'm just gonna plane this up uh, uh, with a electric planer on the top and the bottom, and then uh, I'll just use the hand plane, just trying to keep this this weeny edge a little bit. Uh, yes, this is the boatman's rest, and this is where we uh, we're lodging in the lockdown. So, uh, so yeah, that's one side. Okay, there we have it, complete with sawdust. Uh, so I've tried to keep the weeny edge. I have cheated a little bit, and I have used the electric planer. So, but I mean, you can still see. Uh, it is actually curved and, and tapered, which uh, I'm still going to clean up with a uh, with a block plane. But that's the uh, shelf taking form. Okay, with the shelf cut to shape and length, uh, I've just took this cone off here, so you're not going to catch your uh, your head on the corner of the shelf. Uh, I've still got the weaning edge on this side, and then this leaves me this piece to make the uh, the brackets out of. Right, I've just about done for today. Uh, I can show you what uh, what I've done. I've got the shelf brackets here. I've got the shelf. So the shelf's going to go a little bit like that on the wall. And then these, these are going to go something like this underneath. Okay, like so. Like I say, it's time to get clean up. I've got tea to cook. So we'll, uh, we'll probably continue with this tomorrow. Hi guys, well it's day two, a uh, bit of a delayed start, uh, I was busy this morning uh, doing one or two other things but uh, eventually we've, we've gone on to like now making the shelf or finishing the, se the shelf so it's all sanded and we're ready to put the, uh, the brackets on there. So I've glued, the, uh, glued and pinned the gala brackets, I've just got these, uh, these clips now, even though the gala brackets are going to support the shelf and not weight bearing so I'm just gonna straighten out these these little L brackets fix these along the uh, just set them in that set set them in across the back of the shelf here and then we can screw and fix the shelf with these That's the shelf fitted. Uh, the postman has just dropped off my uh, Manhattan preset box, so we're just waiting for the uh, uh, the freeview box coming now. Before we can test those, so we'll just keep that as it is, and we'll wait for the postman coming with with the other gear. Our freeview box has just been delivered, so now we've got the uh, the freeview and the and the preset box decoder so uh, let's get these in place then now looking at the shelf now uh, I've got the power point connected at this side so that's all in and working now and I've moved the uh, the satellite controller from from back over uh, in the electric cover to here now so that's going to be a permanent feature now I've also shortened these uh, these legs just here because I weren't quite happy about the uh, the visual look of it and I needed to leave a little bit more room for the for the cables out of this unit here. So we've we've lowered the uh, the shelf very slightly, but I think it looks all right. Today is the day that we're waiting for DPD Ricky to deliver our TV. Um, me and Diz are really excited, aren't we? We are, yes, yeah. So we're waiting for his TV. It should be here this afternoon, and we're going to put it up on the wall. So we. Thank you. Right, just arrived. Let's open the box. Right, we've got the uh, the monitor out of the box and I can honestly say that LG have been one of my favourite TVs monitors for a long long time. 
uh, and this this does does not disappoint. Uh, I mean, just looking around the back of the monitor, uh, how many TVs do you see? What's white on the back? Just being white, you know. It's nice, it's nice to see, and it's really nice finished off. The sound is fine. What we've done, we, we've connected it up on, on the stand. Uh, we connected it on the, on the stand just to test the, the picture, the, the electrics and everything, just make sure it's working before we started wall mounting it and everything. Uh, and everything's working all right. So uh, there's been a slight delay by, by about three days uh, because of the wall mounting bracket I got for the monitor. Uh, it didn't actually fit. So we've had to get another wall mounting bracket. And the reason why it didn't fit is because uh, the ports actually come out directly behind. See, the idea is that the, the, the cables come around the ports and then go down the back of this, uh, this tube just here. So uh, I've had to get a different slight uh, fixing wall mounting bracket just for the back of it. But hey oh, three days later and we're back onto it. So uh, right, I'll crack on. So this is the, the wall mounting bracket I've got. Now this does actually swing away, which uh, is fine if you're working on the PC and you want the screen a little bit closer or something. You know, it's absolutely fine. But you need to secure the monitor uh, when obviously you're, you're actually traveling around and moving around in the camper. So I've got this little bracket here, which works on a pull, pull key system where you pull this down and this reduces this pin here. But I'm gonna actually fix that over, so sort of like over this arm. Sorry for the dodgy uh, camera work here. And that will actually lock the monitor back to the wall. So if I ever want to get to the cables behind, we could just pull this down uh, pull, pull this here and then the, uh, the the monitor will actually swing away from the wall there. So the brackets now on the wall. These are just like the uh, kitchen cabinet brackets. Uh, what you the, you join the uh, kitchen cupboards together. So then base this is just screwed in. But now this will actually go back there and <clears throat> the TV should lock out there now. I'm going to have to just pack that slightly. Got a little bit of gap, a little bit of play just there. Okay, I've got this in uh, this pipe insulation, uh, which I've just cut a square out of. So I'm just going to tape this to the back of the uh, arm just to take up that little bit of play. Now this should compress down to about 10 mil. So I'm just going to tape this on the back with some insulation tape and see, just see how it goes. So we'll see. The the forms on the back that works well. I've got the, the little bit of a zip tie onto the locking pin and zip ties holding the, the power pack up on the wall so these actually sit directly behind the TV so when, when we push the TV back or the monitor should I say this locks in place and there we have it I think the hardest part of any Electrical job is to get your cables to lie nice and neat uh, and these certainly aren't But again, we're just testing making sure everything's all right. So I've got all the three boxes here out. What we have got here is a, a 4k uh, HDMI switch so with a remote you can change uh, From from one box to another box without actually unplugging HDMI cables, so uh, I'll leave a link to this in the description along with these as well uh, so you can see what I've used and uh, maybe add a comment there but what we're going to do now is just basically uh, velcro these down to stop these from moving and then we'll we'll give it a test so everything's in place everything's tested and everything's working fine you can see uh, the pictures very good uh, and I know you didn't actually see the uh, Avtex TV but this, you know, this this is much better. We're happy with everything. Uh, the HDMI switcher works very well. Uh, the sound out of the monitor is fantastic. Uh, and like I said, I will leave a link to everything I've done here in the descriptions. Please leave any comments. And obviously, if you like what you see, just like it and subscribe, please. But thanks very much for watching.